Okay, uh, Beth Mowat, I'm a goalkeeper. Uh, I'm 20 and I'm a nursery teacher. Okay, what's your journey to playing from Montrose? Um, so I played uh, for four for Farmington for about six years and I'd never been at a club before that. Um, and then I came to Montrose last year and had my first season and then this is my second season. And how have you found it since you've been here? Uh, I really enjoy, I've been really enjoying it. Last year was really good. It was different to be in a team that you actually were winning games and stuff like that. I'd never really been used to it. So um, that was really good. And then obviously winning the league, that was amazing. And then this year has been a big jump up and whatnot. And just obviously your position, there's, there's three of you, sometimes two's, you know, two's company, three's a crowd. How has it been in sort of the goalkeeper union of this team? Um, it's, a, it's really good. No, Anna and LP are really good. Like, and Richie's been amazing as well. Um, but it's been difficult, obviously, because hmm. it's a specialised position. You can only play one person. So, um, but I've been training hard and stuff like that. So, and like I said, what have you learnt about yourself? What's the big takeaway from your experience here so far? Um, just knowing that I can challenge myself and push myself to do the best that I can and play at a high level. And in terms of influences, who has helped you to play at that level? Um, probably my mum and dad and stuff like that. They took me to games and stuff when I was younger, like up and down or wherever we, I was playing and whatnot. So yeah, definitely them. A lot of sacrifice and work put in for the parents to get you. Yeah, definitely. No, I'm starting to repay that back now with my own driving. So definitely. Gives less, less, off, less miles, less, less petrol for them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's definitely better for them probably. In <laughs> terms of um, obviously you know, interest, Sounds like you've got quite a full-on job as well as yeah. you know, preparing, you know, playing, you know, training, practicing, learning your craft as a goalkeeper. What do you like doing to switch off? Um, just being with family, and I like baking and cooking and stuff like that. So quite relax. I quite find it quite relaxing being in the kitchen and stuff. So maybe the great Montrose Bake Off would you win that out of all your teammates? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think I could win that hundred um, percent. When you're baking and switching off, what who's on your music playlist just now? Um, I like a good mixture of music. I like just recent music and I quite like like 2000s, 2010 music and I quite like country music. Any artists in particular? Um, just a mixture to be honest, it's nothing specific. Just just a Spotify list and yeah, that's definitely. it, on, on we go. Movies, TV series, what stands out? Um, don't really get much time to watch them but what have I been watching? Uh, I watched Fool Me Once on Netflix, it was really good. And I quite like, well, like watching like police dramas and stuff like that. So just a mixture. Like a week, like a, like a drama, like a bit of um yeah. bit of storylines. Yeah, definitely. Something you can keep keeps you guessing. Holidays places, where would you like to go? Where stands out? Um I've not really been on many places abroad to be honest. Um I've been to like Tenerife, that's really it. I've been to more like around here, like in Scotland and stuff like that. So I think I'd like to go to like Italy or Canada or America or something like that. It'd be good. Quite a few places around the world to see, isn't there? Yeah, oh, definitely. I know, just getting the time for it. <laughs> because we're obviously here at home in Scotland, in Montrose, you also got to know your teammates. If none of you were playing football and you were all catching up as friends, who would be talking about their time as a comedian? Um, I'd probably say, I think Collie is quite funny and Amy Ridgeway. There's quite a few. Jade as well. So definitely those three probably. Could be a bit of a comedy act kicking about then. Oh yeah, a wee group of them. <laughs> DJ. Um quite liked LP's sometimes being on the speaker, so hers is quite good and Demi's is alright as well. Businesswoman, who would have an eye big idea that they could pull off? Um Maybe Charlotte, she's got quite an important sounding job, so maybe her. <laughs> TV movie star, who's got the look? Um, oh God. Uh, maybe Tally or Neve or whatever. They like to keep themselves nice and tidy. <laughs> Julie, though, no, it's um, wise woman. Who would you go to the team for life advice? Um, probably Charlotte or Cully, I would say. I feel like they've got good understanding of everything. Future head coach manager? Um, probably Gio. I could see her doing that, definitely. And last of all, what would you like to say to the supporters? Um, just a big thank you. You can see that it's getting bigger in numbers every week, so definitely just a big thank you and it's much appreciated.